Welcome to Propeller U. In this training module, we will show you how to take flight with DJI's Phantom 4 RTK. These instructions will be similar for other models of drones. There are two focus areas for ensuring successful data collection on your site, pre-flight preparation and on-site operations. Before you head to your job site for your first flight, there are some important steps you should complete in the office. These include preparing the hardware for flight and environmental research into the proposed flight area. Let's start with reviewing the important hardware elements. Watch our unboxing video to become familiar with the pieces of gear included with the Phantom 4 RTK. We have included that video in the supporting materials for this module. Update your aircraft and remote controller firmwares to the latest available versions. It's best to check firmware versions regularly, so you always have the latest bug fixes and improvements. Charge all of your batteries, including those for the remote controller, aircraft, and aeropoint. Remember that when you're charging aeropoints with solar energy, they could take two full days to charge completely. Next, Let's talk about what types of research you should do before you arrive on site. Register your drone with the controlling government agency. In the US, pilots must register their aircraft with the Federal Aviation Administration on the Drone Zone website. In Australia, you must register your aircraft with the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. Regulations in Europe vary from country to country. Check with your local Civil Aviation Authority to learn more about what steps they require to register your aircraft. Some countries, such as the US, also require commercial drone operators to pass a licensing exam on aeronautical standards and safety. Learn how to plan missions on GSRTK using our video tutorial, which we've included a link to in the supporting materials for this module. We recommend you plan missions in the office if you won't have access to the internet once you arrive on site. If the site you need to fly is near an airport or another type of restricted airspace, you'll want to review the DJI FlySafe website to see if your proximity to other manned aircraft would require special permission to fly. DJI drones include a geofencing system that will limit where the drone can fly you'll need DJI and Aviation Authority approval to fly in some areas. If you're using AeroPoints, check to see if you are within range of the Propeller Corrections Network. This geographic network helps to simplify the processing of AeroPoint data with no special GPS equipment required. When you're outside the Propeller Corrections Network or using a local site calibration, you must provide Propeller with coordinates measured from the center of a single AeroPoint. Verify the coordinate reference system you want to use for processing data. Check out our video linked in the supporting materials to learn about choosing a coordinate system for your site. Check the weather forecast for high winds, extreme temperatures, or low clouds. These can have a major impact on flight performance. Now that we've done the preliminary preparation in the office, let's review the first things that you should complete after arriving on site. The first thing that you will do when you get to the site is place and power on the AeroPoint. As a quick reminder, an AeroPoint needs to be on and collecting data for a minimum of 45 minutes. The AeroPoint acts as a base station and must be on before, during, and after the drone flight. Always place the AeroPoint in a location with an open view of the sky in all directions. A solid red light means the AeroPoint is collecting data. Let's switch over to the aircraft. The Phantom 4 RTK has motors that spin in different directions. Because of this, it's critically important that you attach the propellers correctly. Note the black and silver bands on top of the propellers. Two propellers will have black rings on them, and you'll install these on the motors that have black dots on them. The other two propellers will have silver rings, and you'll install these on the motors without the dots. Position the propeller atop the motor so the grooves match up. Gently hold the silver motor base with one hand while applying downward pressure to the top of the propeller. Then spin the propeller in the lock symbol's direction that's printed on the arms of the propeller. The propeller will pop up into place. Double check each propeller to ensure they're fastened. It's crucial that you remove the gimbal clamp and foam stabilizer before powering on the aircraft. 
Failure to do so will cause damage to the camera. To check the current battery charge level, press the button on the battery once and let it go, with each light strip representing about 25% charge. Install a fully charged battery into your aircraft. Insert a micro SD card into the aircraft. Set your aircraft in a safe environment. The home point is the place where the aircraft launches to begin its mission. This is also where the aircraft will return when it has completed its flight. Power on the aircraft with a quick press and release, followed by another press with a long hold. The ground needs to be flat so nothing interferes with the gimbal or camera of the device. Check that no grass, rocks, or dirt are blocking the gimbal's full range of motion. Launch from an open area and make sure there are no challenging obstacles nearby that could be difficult for the aircraft to avoid. These could be power lines, trees, or towers. There are many buttons on the remote controller. The following are the most important that you should familiarize yourself with before your first flight. Power on the remote controller using the same method as the battery. Let's review some of the most commonly used functions of your remote controller. You can use the control sticks to fly the aircraft manually. It shouldn't be necessary to fly manually during a photogrammetry mission but we suggest familiarizing yourself with the controls in case an emergency requires intervention from the pilot. The return to home function returns the aircraft to the last recorded home point. The home point automatically updates at takeoff and you can manually set it in the settings. If you need to call the aircraft home, to change a battery or to end a mission, press and hold the return to home button on the remote controller. The LED light around the button will blink white to show that the aircraft is returning to the home point. If you want to cancel the return to home and regain full control of the aircraft, press the return to home button once. The dial on the back left of the remote controller can adjust the gimbal pitch up or down. For photogrammetry, set the gimbal angle to negative 90 degrees while planning your mission. It should not be necessary to adjust the gimbal manually during flight. Keep this toggle set in positioning mode to have the device automatically use the GPS and vision system to stabilize itself, navigate between obstacles, and perform a photogrammetry or waypoint mission. Flying in attitude mode is difficult and we do not recommend it. In this mode, the aircraft disables the GPS positioning and vision system. This means a gust of wind could massively blow an aircraft off course. Adjust the antennas during flight so their direction is always perpendicular to the aircraft. Keep the antennas parallel with each other, like the number 11, or have them pointed in different directions, like the letter V. Never cross the antennas like an X. Before we take off, let's review some important settings that will apply to both manual and planned flights. You'll find these settings in the Fly section of the GSRTK app. All the following settings require the aircraft to be powered on to set correctly. If you adjust these settings while the aircraft is off, they will reset. When there's a strong GPS signal at takeoff, that location will be recorded as the mission home point. The drone will automatically return to this home point at the end of a mission, if the battery gets too low, or if manually triggered by the pilot using the remote controller. Return to home altitude is the height the aircraft will fly at during a return to home procedure. It's important to set this high enough so that the aircraft can safely avoid all obstacles on site. It's possible that based on technical or environmental conditions that we could lose the signal between the aircraft and the remote controller. The RC signal lost setting determines what happens in this situation. We'd suggest the aircraft return to home, but other options like hover are also available. In the Unlock Certificate list, you'll manage approvals from DJI to fly in restricted airspace. Review the airspace around new sites before you arrive on site so you can get proper permission to fly. It's not unusual to need to calibrate the compass before flight. We recommend practicing the steps so the process becomes second nature. If you see an error message on your remote controller that says magnetic interference detected, you can fix it by calibrating the aircraft's compass. 
Propeller's processing workflow does not require the use of the aircraft's RTK positioning system. If you get an error about a weak RTK signal, then you should enter the settings to confirm that aircraft RTK positioning is disabled. It's best to leave obstacle avoidance enabled so the aircraft can help the pilot avoid obstacles. This is not a replacement for a pilot's diligence during flight. You should regularly reformat your micro SD card before flight. Install the card into the aircraft and then press reformat SD card from the remote controller menu. Be sure to back up important data before wiping the card's memory. Once you've prepared the hardware for flight and performed site research, it's time to plan or load an automated photogrammetry mission. Check out the supporting materials for this module to learn about our recommended settings and to see a video walkthrough of planning a mission. After you've performed all of the preparations, we're ready to launch the aircraft. Press Invoke on the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Press Start in the same spot. Review the on-screen precautions for flight and press OK. Slide your finger across the screen to launch the drone and have it start the planned mission. Always maintain a visual line of sight with the aircraft during flight. Also, keep the controller in your hands in case the aircraft needs a manual intervention from the pilot. The aircraft will follow the flight lines to capture images of your sight. Be sure to maintain situational awareness during flight. If the battery level gets too low, or if the aircraft finishes the mission, it will return to the home point. For large missions that require multiple batteries, the aircraft will record a break point when it returns to home. This is important because we want the drone to return to where it left off in the mission instead of starting from the beginning. After the aircraft has landed, let's prepare it for the second leg of the flight. Power off the aircraft. Remove the battery by pinching the clips on the top and bottom. Install a fully charged battery into the aircraft. Power on the aircraft by quickly pressing and releasing the button once, followed by holding the button down. In order to complete an unfinished mission, we need to resume it from the executing menu. Once we have completed all legs of the mission, we can turn off and pick up the arrow point. You will want to make sure that the arrow point has been on for a minimum of 45 minutes, you flew for at least 10 minutes with your aircraft, and you have completed all parts of the flight. Press the arrow point button once, it will blink a few times and then turn off. Once the light has turned off, you can pick it up. In this module, we discussed what you should do in the office, what to do once you're on site, and how to conduct your first flight. Thanks for watching. For more information about taking your first flight, you can access the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base.